And updating a story we brought you last week, the Seattle City Council has yielded to pressure from Amazon and scaled back on a proposed head tax on large employers. Five of nine city council members supported the original proposal that would have raised an estimated $86 million to be used to build affordable housing and provide services for the homeless. But that left supporters one vote short of the six needed to overrule Mayor Jenny Durkin, who said that she would use her veto to block the so-called Amazon tax. The scaled back tax will only raise about $47 million per year and will expire in 2023 unless the council votes to renew it. Seattle Council member Shama Suwant, a leading head tech supporter and boom bust guest on the topic, replied on Twitter, writing, given extortion from Jeff Bezos and Goliath like clout of Amazon, even smaller taxes, a huge victory, pushback on corporate bullying. And corporate capital investment in the U.S. is back in a big way. Credit Suisse reports that capital spending by U.S. companies is up 24% over last year. It's $166 billion now for the first quarter of 2018. That's 24% is the biggest quarterly increase since 2011. The trade-off for all that capital expenditure, which can yield long-term profit boost, is a near-term knock on stock prices. Meanwhile, retail sales were also up for the month of April, but by a more modest amount of 0.3%. Grocery and clothing stores were some of the bigger winners, while restaurants were down by 0.3%. The growth figures held up even after canceling out the impact of increased spending due to higher cost of gasoline. And now we get to have some fun. We turn to talk about some companies and their performance and projections for the future with the effervescent and always informative Melissa Armo, the founder of Stock Swoosh. Melissa, welcome back. The Boom Busters love it when you join us. They always learn something. Uh, I want to start with uh, the U.S. cybersecurity software company, Symantec, which makes uh, what we all know, the Norton antivirus software. Symantec has been in the news because of the audit committee and the, of the board of directors, which has acknowledged that the whistleblower has gone to the Securities and Exchange Commission, potentially related to improper reporting by the company. On the news late last week, Symantec stopped, dropped like a stone, 20% in a day. And then yesterday, on a call with reporters, the CEO, Greg Clark, didn't do any good by saying he couldn't comment on the matter. What's going on with Symantec, Melissa? Well, it did drop. It dropped huge in the last week, and the stock is now in a downtrend. It's definitely not a buy. It lifted a little bit since that first big drop, but ultimately, the company really isn't stating much. And so it, it, it's heard out there that their accounting practices are being investigated by the SEC, which, which is trouble. That signals trouble. And because they're not really disclosing a lot of information about it, I think it's worrisome for investors, and the stock really is not a buy, and we don't know what's going to happen or how long the investigation is going to take, but supposedly they've been being investigated since April of this year. Yeah, those uh, those whistleblower things, I mean, the, the uh, SEC takes them real seriously, and, uh, uh, you know, they could take a long time, so they could be in the doldrums yeah. for a while, as you, as you suggest. Uh, let's move on to another interesting company, Kraft Heinz, uh, the maker of the famous uh, ketchup and, and the Oscar Mayer wieners, the hot dogs, and the Philadelphia cream, cream cheese. In April, banks were saying the stock would be a buy in the mid-70s, uh, but then Warren Buffett said he was going to get off the board. Uh, he wasn't taking any of the money. The uh, uh, Berkshire Hathaway owned 27 percent. Uh, but now they're down to 54 bucks. Uh, the 52 week high was $94. Uh, so they really did take a terrible uh, tumble. What's your take on Kraft Heinz, Melissa? That's another one that's in a terrible downtrend. In fact, when you look at the overall market, which is strong in an uptrend, and you look at stocks that are well-known companies like Kraft, you can't h help but feel bad. It's, it's like GE. I mean, GE is in a terrible downtrend, too, and that's a well-known company. No one's really seeming to invest or buy in Kraft. I don't know why, but I know that it's not a buy till probably it gets well over 70, maybe even 75. And that's a long way away from now. We'll see how the next earnings reports. It's not impossible to get there, but it's not anywhere close to being a buy right now. And institutional investors just aren't buying it. I, I wonder, uh, we did a little uh, 
uh, thing on our show a couple of weeks ago, you know, they, they had came out with a few months ago this uh, combination of ketchup and uh, mayonnaise, uh, mayo chuck. And I wondered if maybe they had jumped the shark, uh, that it was just <laughs> too much, that this was too cutesy. Uh, but you think that they could potentially pull out of all this? I'm, I'm very hopeful. I mean, they're not that far away from being a buy. I mean, I think they closed today right around 50, 59 or something like that. So if, with a good, solid, strong earnings report or maybe a couple strong earning, earnings reports till the end of 2018, maybe by the end of the year into 2019, if the market stays strong, maybe the stock can turn around. I, you know, it's not like all is lost for this. It's not, like I said, like GE. GE looks just absolutely horrible. But when you look at Kraft, it could recover. It could recover in the next six to 12 months. Will it? Will the company find better ways? I don't, I don't know why they're selling. Maybe there's just too many brands out there that are not name brands that are providing cheaper uh, costs for these products. You know, I don't, I don't even know what a little pack of eight ounce cream cheese costs now that's craft. I haven't bought cream cheese for a while, but I'll tell you there, there's an upcharge when you buy brand names in the grocery stores. And so maybe people are just not wanting to pay it. They're tightening up a little bit. Yeah, it could be. Well, the others don't have mayo, Chuck. Uh, let's go on to uh, Walmart, which was <laughs> trading about 84 bucks today, uh, down from the 52 week high of a 110 in, in January. It was $75 a year ago. Is now a good time to get into Walmart, do you think? I would wait because Walmart earnings are tomorrow morning, and I will say this. I don't know what Walmart does on the earnings. It's tomorrow morning before the bell, but I will say this. It's going to have a move that will significantly impact the stock. Now, what do I mean by that exactly? I mean that if Walmart gets down on the earnings tomorrow morning and breaks 82, it's going to sell off like a banshee and it is really going to sell off because people have been trying to support the stock at that number uh, for the last week and the stock has not looked good since the original earnings out at the beginning of 2018 in fact it has never recovered since the high of that earnings report it has fallen it's nowhere near the highs now if it gets up and there are good expectations for these earnings again i have no idea what it does but a lot of people think it's going to report well if it gaps up and has a positive reaction on the earnings and gaps up to around 90 bucks, it's going to fly. It's going to be a buy. It's going to move higher. It's going to catch up from all the lagging since the beginning of the year, and it's going to probably move back up into the highs sooner rather than later. So watch Walmart. Walmart is one to watch. So the levels are buy it at 90 or short it under 82 or sell it if you're in it long under 82 because it's really going to tank. Melissa, we never have enough time. You've always given us such great information, and now we have something to look forward to tomorrow with their report. <laughs> Melissa Armo, the founder of Stock Swoosh, thank you. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for having me.